guys this is the affiliate hustler and in today's quick video I want to show you how to set up get responses autoresponder perfectly because they have been updating lately their platform and I thought making this video was going to be useful for some of you guys now if you don't know me my name is the affiliate hustler I make affiliate marketing content and how to make money online and also how to make affiliate funnels landing pages and and i also make online marketing content so if you like this video please make sure to check all of my videos and if you like all of my videos make sure to hit that bell icon subscribe also like this video and comment and let me know what you think but make sure to stay until the end so you fully understand how to set up get responses auto responder so let's get into the video So let's get into the video guys. So I will show you how to set up get responses autoresponder. But first, before you set up get response autoresponder, you should have made a list. Now I will show you uh, quickly how to create a list with get response. You just have to go to the menu, go to the up uh, to the up middle corner and click on lists and this menu will show up now I have three lists made up you if you if you don't see anything then it means you don't have any list created now what you should do is create list go to here to create list and then you should create uh, a list and you should make you, you should put your list a name now the thing with get response is that you don't have to use a name that has already taken because unfortunately uh, on get response all all the names are uh, copied or are listed throughout the platform so if i create a list named um, the affiliate hustler you won't be able to create a list that is called the affiliate hustler because Apparently the lists are cross-platform and, th and I think you can you can share them and that is why you can't make list with the same names. So once you created your list, you obviously know how to create your autoresponder. You just go to the up left corner to menu and you will go to autoresponders. Once you go to this tab, to the the autoresponder works in the in in this in this way so for each list get response allows you to create an autoresponder for each list so here on the left corner you'll see that it says YouTube demo that is my list so if you click that you'll see all the lists now if you have all the lists ticks ticked it will show you all the autoresponders for all given list as you can see all the autoresponders for all list in this case I only have an autoresponder set up for the YouTube demo list now if you want to create a specifically auto as an autoresponder specifically for a given list you just have to put only the list that you want to create an autoresponder for so in this case I want to create an autoresponder for a Fiat Hustler 09 and not another list so you hit apply and as you can see I don't have any autoresponder setup now to make more to make things more eye pleasing and so as to not get you confused I really recommend you that you hit this square button what this will do this will laid out all the days of your autoresponder so let's say on day zero they get one mail these are the all the days laid out for you so as to know what mail is emailed in that given day so let's say zero they get a mail uh, a mail that you have that you put and, and the day one they put another mail so you you can lay it out and customize the mails that they will be receiving as you want let's create an email 
I will go to day zero. You just hit the blue button, the plus blue button, and you choose and you have to give your autoresponder a name. In this case, I will put YouTube demo two. YouTube two. So obviously you have to choose for what list you want the list you want the autoresponder for. And he, this is important. Here you will choose if you want to send the mail immediately if once they subscribe to your list with the, with a delay of I don't know 12 hours one hour that is you can customize as however you want or no early, no earlier than a specific hour that is a very cool tool that I have used in the past now that you have chose your option you will choose you will have to create a new email now this will open a tab full of email templates well first you, you you have to post the message name now many people will um, many people will confuse the message name with the subject of the email the message name is for you to know what email what the, the email is so in this case what I will do in the message name I'll just put the day of the email so day one autoresponder uh, uh, day one and the name of your list you can put but I will put day one and there and here is where you put your subject YouTube demo now here is where all the email templates will be laid out now if you want to use email templates just you, you, you have a thousand of templates to use from as an as a marketer I don't like any of these email templates because mm, there are they mainly get confused as spam but by all the email providers so what I'll do is I well, and what I will recommend to you is that you go to start from scratch and just use the blank template uh, don't be afraid of experiencing with templates I just don't like them and I don't I did I didn't have good results in the past I didn't have good results with the delivery of the emails with Google with Gmail and all the email providers that you can think of so what I'll do is I go to blank template the just grab a text block and then what I'll do is I go to here HD to sorry to plain text I will put HTML to plain and I will what I will do is I click on wrap wrap long lines so that uh, your email doesn't get to spam so you can see that here it says recommended with if you click on wrap long lines what it will do is it will put your emails before the recommended with so th this will make your email not go to the spam folder um, then go to next step and then your first email so then you have to choose on what day you want the message as you guys as you saw on the grid you have day zero day one day two and so forth and so on and so forth so you can choose day one day two day three obviously uh, because I don't have any emails uh, laid out yet I'll put day zero so now here is where you choose when to send the message if it's the first message I always recommend send it immediately it depends on what type of, co of campaign you are running but here you can choose with a delay of hours and no earlier than an hour specifically so that's um, that's on your part you choose how to deliver your emails now you could go to save and publish now you go to save and publish and you have laid out your first email as you can see now it appears on day zero now if you want to create a sequence you just have to go day by day by day by day put your emails customize it as you want but this was a quick tutorial it's pretty easy to separate to set up an autoresponder or get response but I as I said I thought this was a good tutorial because they have uh, changed their I thought this was a good tutorial because they changed 
their platform and the way it looks so I thought I thought it was it would be useful to some of you guys so that was it for this video hope you like it if you like this video make sure to check out any of the video of my videos I will be putting uh, linking them to the on the up right corner and ma yeah make sure to subscribe like comment hit that bell icon and yeah guys see you on on the next video bye